Hi there guys, this is System Test 3. Um, first system test in over two years now. Besides the ton of troubles that you see on this panel, um, yes, I have got a new panel. I upgraded from the SK4 to an MS96 UDLS. Um, I got this panel about three years ago, although it's been in the box ever since, since I've been so busy with life. Um, you can see that right here. Now, I don't intend to use this panel at least right now, until I get my own house. Um, I don't intend to use this panel full time, so it does not have no batteries. Um, just, I use it when I do these system tests and that's about it. But nonetheless, let's get on with this system. Um, you can see right here, the first device I have is the, I believe it's the MDF 300. If that's wrong, you can correct me in the comments. But I have this right here controlling the next devices I'm going to show you, um, or monitoring them, the BG6. And I have another BG6 I'll be showing you momentarily. Right up above it, I have an um, Firelight SD365, or yeah, 365. And then right next to it, I have something special. You can see here. I don't know if you guys have ever seen one of these before. I know New England Elevators did a video on one of these. I believe his was, it was either wall mount or ceiling mount. Although this one is wall mount. Um, and for some reason it doesn't have the fire lettering on the front of it. Uh, I have no idea why it's like that. I got it on eBay just like that. I have no idea. Although there's a model number right there. It's the F819WS. Or my bad, F819TWS 24 volts DC. These were made, mine are dated from 1983 up until 1984. I have four of these with various different date codes on them. So yeah, that's that. Um, it's basically a flush mount speaker. So it's kind of like a 7001T, but in the speaker form. Version, speaker version. Over here, I have some of a of a addition. This one right here is the RSS. This is really the only modern device I have in this system. Well, besides the smoke detectors, of course, and the panel. There it is. I have another BG6 right here. This BG6 um, came in the same lot as the other one, actually. Funny thing is, both these speaker strobes I have in the system and these pole stations came in their own separate lots, but they came in lots nonetheless. It's kind of a trend. Oh, and here's an exit sign I have. For those of you exit sign enthusiasts, this is a um, dual light exquisite. It's the RG one with the combination, as you can see. Uh, this one's pretty rare though, as it does have the Spectron. Again, I only use this for a nightlight right now so that's why there's no battery inside of it uh, I don't know if you can see on the video they kind of look green but the letters are white and the faceplate is green it's a Denver Colorado code exit sign so it has white letters with the green background I actually made this faceplate and put it on the sign <laughs> out here we have another firelight SD365 and another speaker strobe along with it. Let me focus that. Same model number, so I won't go over that again. This one has the fire lettering on the front. So, I don't know why that one has a weird strobe like that, but nonetheless, it does. So, you're probably wondering what I have these devices set to. And I obviously don't have a voice of vac panel, so how am I going to get these things to work? Well, I actually bought some Wheelock um, chime strobes for really cheap on eBay. Right now you can get some for like $10 I believe. I bought two of those. The back of those comes right off and it mounts right to the strobe plate that I have these installed on. So we're going to be dealing with chimes today. Um, so yeah, let's pull the first one. Hmm. You can't 
can't even hear this one over that one because I have this one set on low volume. And the other one's set on high volume. That is weird. You can't even hear that one. It's going off, but you have to stand like right underneath it. That one out there is taking the cake <laughs> when it comes to the sound. This one's actually set on a higher um, tone, but a very low volume. Maybe that's why I can't hear it. But I can hear it in person, just not very loud. So yeah, let's reset this. I'll be right back. Okay, so that was an awkward reset. I don't have a hex wrench on me right now, so I had to do it with both hands. So apologize for pausing that video. All right, so up next, let's go ahead and test one of the smoke detectors. I won't test both of them. I'll just test one of them, as I do know they both work. So let's... There it goes. Let's silence that. You can see that one's been activated. Another BG6 right there. Actually, let me go ahead and test it. So I said I wasn't going to test the other one, but I felt like I needed to. You can see the module right here, MFD300. It's a dual module, uh, mod monitor module, excuse me there. Um, it's monitoring both these BG6s that I have in here. So yeah. Go out here. Let's take one more look at this. I turn the lights off. Very loud strokes. Alrighty. So I actually, instead of not pulling the other smoke, I'm not gonna pull the other BG6. Kinda tight on time right now. But that was system test three. Um, and thanks for watching.